Shannon Lanier is a television reporter, actor, author, and a direct descendant of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. He's also a black man, the sixth great-grandson of Jefferson and Sally Hemings, an enslaved woman who had six children with the founding father. Dressed in period clothing, Lanier recently stepped in front of the camera of Drew Gardner, a photographer who painstakingly recreates portraits of historical figures with their direct descendants. His ongoing Descendants project is a commission by the Smithsonian. Shannon Lanier chose not to wear a wig while posing as his great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. I didn't want to become Jefferson, says Lanier, who has gone to reunions at Monticello and co-authored the book Jefferson's Children, The Story of One American Family. My ancestor had his dreams, and now it's up to all of us living in America today to make sure no one is excluded from the promise of life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Lanier also had this to say about his famous relative, he was a brilliant man who preached equality, but he didn't practice it. He owned people. And now I'm here because of it. Watch the behind-the-scenes video of this portrait being made. Smithsonian Magazine, screen grabs via Smithsonian, Drew Gardner thanks, Isabel. Star Trek fans use FaceApp to swap genders of franchise characters want to see more of this? Fans of the various Star Trek series have been using FaceApp, the popular smartphone facial editing software, to alter the faces and gender expression of popular Star Trek characters. You can see many more on the Star Trek shitposting Facebook group. Images, Facebook screen grabs read the rest smashed window in Memphis brilliantly labeled as artwork, lost a window to the riot, didn't lose an opportunity, writes Memphis resident Tagawa on R. Memphis. Thanks, Jeff Cross. Read the rest image scrubber is a website that removes EXIF data and blurs faces in photos image scrubber is a useful website that removes all the identifying metadata from any photograph and gives you the option to blur out certain parts of the photo. This is a tool for anonymizing photographs taken at protests. It will remove identifying metadata EXIF data from photographs and also allow you to selectively blur parts. Read the rest no programming skills? No design experience? Game Guru can still help create some bonkers video games when you sit down to play a new AAA video game like The Last of Us 2, you probably assume it was created by gaming experts with insane levels of artistic and technical talent. And, you'd be right.